Hi, I'm Diane Mapes with Fred Hutch, home of the Women's Health Initiative, or WHI, the largest women's health study ever conducted on the planet. Why was the Women's Health Initiative launched in the first place? Three decades ago, we didn't have much data on women's health. Doctors treated women like men with better hair. Then in the early 90s, the National Institutes of Health launched the Women's Health Initiative. It was a way to make up for lost time and lost data. So we wanted to know how to prevent the major health conditions that affect women over the age of 50. The most common health concerns, heart disease, cancer, and bone fractures. And the key goal was to figure out if ideas that had been bouncing around for a while about how to prevent them were really effective. Women's Health Initiative is probably best known for the hormone replacement therapy trial. Millions of women in the U.S. were taking HRT on the advice of their doctors who believed it was beneficial. And it was for menopause symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats. But the trial was set up to establish not just benefits, but to see if there were any risks. And there were. So the trial was stopped early. The examiners saw an association between this combined hormone replacement therapy and breast cancer. That was a big change because it became really obvious that hormone replacement therapy needed to be nuanced and it could not just be given to all women as if one size fits all. Not only has the WHI helped individual women, it's had a massive economic impact with a net economic return of $37.1 billion. And that's just on one of the trials, the hormone replacement therapy trial. Not to mention the thousands of women who did not get breast cancer, did not have a stroke, did not have a blood clot or heart attack. They have published 2,400 studies over the years, and they continue to publish. They still have 42,000 active participants. These women are filling out questionnaires every year, providing researchers with crucial data on their exposures, on their behavior, and what effect it has on their health. This is Diane Mapes for Fred Hutch News.